it's the same ball game, but it's kind of spun around. You know, as a female model, I'm like, okay, guy models have it so easy. They can do the muscular or, you know, kind of skinny. And, you know, I meet male models and just the way they are and what they talk about their cast seems like, they make it seem so easy. Yeah. And then here, you know, the female models are talking and we're, you know, and to them, you know, we sound like we're fighting against the world, we're struggling, you know, mm -hmm. like we're climbing out of the trenches it could be strictly from a competition standpoint and you know from the guy, male models that i have met they don't really care what the other guy looks like but you know fee like other female models like you know of course like everyone's done it you go into a casting you check everybody out head mm -hmm. to toe mm -hmm. and you see automatically you start saying okay she's a little skinnier than me i'm taller than her her hair is a little you know whatever my hair looks better or, oh my god, her hair looks better. You know, you all, you just start doing that. Yeah. And I think guys walk in, they're like, yeah, what's up, man? You know, they give each other handshakes, and you know, that's it. And I think that's the big thing is we're making it difficult for ourselves. We're making it hard. When you're younger, looking in a magazine, you know, from way back when, and, you know, you're looking and you say, I don't look like that. Like, that expectation is already put in there. So when you go to be one of the girls in the in the magazines or in the ads or anything you already have that like preset so you're automatically doing it whereas guys you know they were outside like you know roughhousing being boys and we were inside you know painting our nails making our hair look pretty you know because we wanted to look like the girl in the magazine so i think we kind of set ourselves up <laughs> but at a very young age we really did we set ourselves up oh,